quite small enough so you get to work out some of your aggressions making it small, a little candy shape. So just cutting me off in the parking lot, not wearing a mask in the grocery store. No Karen, you can't talk to my manager. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a coffee crunch cake. Coffee crunch cake originated from Blum's Bakery, which was a place in Beverly Hills and they had one in Union Square in San Francisco. I used to love to go to the one in Union Square. They had the best hot fudge sundaes. But one of their more famous recipes was a coffee crunch cake. I found the recipe in the Los Angeles Times probably about 15 or 20 years ago. I bring it to family gatherings for holidays and I brought it to parties and everybody seems to ask that I do it again. It's not that hard to make. The hardest part is making the coffee crunch candies that decorate the cake. We're going to do that now. We'll make the cake tomorrow and we'll have a nice 4th of July party. Okay, you start this out, you make a very basic candy. You get yourself one and a half cups of sugar. You add a quarter cup of corn syrup. And what that does is it keeps the sugar from seizing up. That way you wind up with the syrup when you're cooking it. Then you want to add a quarter cup of strong coffee into it. We'll turn this on. Medium heat. Stir it. You want to bring this to a boil and you want to bring it to what's called the hard crack stage. And what that means is you cook it until you take a drop of this and put it in cold water and the drop will become hard and you can crack it. That's why it's called hard crack. Once that happens, we're going to throw in a tablespoon of baking soda. That'll make it foam up. Then we let it harden. And what you have is crunchy, chunky, coffee flavored candies which are basically the heart of this cake. And it's going to take a while to do so. I put it in water, and you see it's getting there. It's kind of gummy right now. It's not stiff and crackly. All right, this looks about right to me. You put it in the water. And you see how when I drop it, oh, see how it kind of stands up there? When you bring it out, it cracks like that. That's the hard crack stage. At that point, you put in one tablespoon of baking soda. And this is going to foam right up once we do that. Watch this. See how it foams up when you put in the baking soda? That's because you want to get a foamy candy that you're then going to break up into pieces and you're going to put it all over the cake. Pour this. Now we're putting it on a, a sheet that's covered with parchment because we don't want to have to pry the candy off the sheet. This way the parchment lets us take it right off from the parchment. And because this candy is at the hard crack stage, it's going to harden and then you can just take it from there. Don't pat it down. You want to keep it nice and foamy because the foaminess is what you need for the candy. You're going to let it cool and then you're going to break it up and you're going to have your candy for your for your cake. All right, it's now gotten hard. You want to break it up into smaller candies because you're going to press those candies onto the cake. Because I'm making this tomorrow, I'm just going to put it in a Ziploc bag tonight and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and we'll make the cake. All right, now it's time to assemble our cake. First, you want to whip up some cream. Take about a cup of cream. The trick to whipping cream is you want everything really cold. Store your beaters in the freezer and your bowl in the freezer before you whip it. 
and get the cream really cold and that'll help it whip up much quicker. You don't want too much sugar in this because remember the coffee crunches that we made last night have a whole bunch of sugar. So maybe about a tablespoon total to a cup of cream. And then you want to put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Then just start whipping. Okay, that looks about done. See how the beater leaves an impression in the cream? That's how you know it's thick enough. Now remember you have the coffee crunches from last night. They're not quite small enough, so you get to work out some of your aggressions, making it small, a little candy shape. So just cutting me off in the parking lot, not wearing a mask in the grocery store. No, Karen, you can't talk to my manager. Okay. That's good. Now, I'm going to have Young do this because she's much more delicate with these things, but she's going to take the whipped cream, she's going to spread it over a store-bought angel food cake, which we've cut half. We're going to spread the whipped cream all over that, and then we're going to put the coffee crunches all over the cake. those coffee crunches and you put it all over the outside of the cake. Now you can serve it right now as is, or you can put it in the refrigerator for an hour or two. If you do that, what will happen is some of the coffee crunches will get a little bit chewy, the others will be crunchy, they'll blend with the whipped cream a little bit. Um, and so it's good fresh and it's good an hour or two in the refrigerator. Believe me, you make this, people will ask you to make it every time there's a party from that point forward. It's really good.